So in this mini-series, we are going to talk about things that we should consider when choosing our next racket. If you've been following this channel, you'll know that I have gone through the recent process of selecting my new racket and I will reveal that in due time. But there are about five things that you need to consider, maybe even more, when it comes to your choice of racket. At the end of the day, it's a personal choice, but I'm just going to go explain and go through a few factors that need to be considered before we make that big choice. Without further ado, let's get into this topic. The next thing that we need to consider when it comes to choosing your racket type is your racket weight. In terms of racket weight, we get rackets all the way down to 110 grams, and I have heard of rackets which might, have, which might even be lighter, all the way to very heavy rackets which from set around 180 grams. In fact, I believe at one point in time I had a 160 or 180 gram Wilson racket. At one point in time when I was a junior, I also had a very heavy racket, and it has its pros and cons, so let's talk about racket weight at the end of the day. So you would find that your heavier racket would mean that you have a slower swing, which is actually a bad thing. In fact, a lot more juniors and as I mentioned, senior players would actually use a heavier racket because they cannot generate power. So having a slower swing but a, a lot of mass behind the ball, once you do swing and hit the, the, the squash ball, would generate a lot of power in your shots and you will find that a lot of juniors would start out with heavier rackets so that they can get their muscle developed when it comes to racket preparation. It's also good for technique to get the players, I guess, shaping their racket before they hit the ball. So you'll find that a lot of junior players will opt for heavier type rackets and these are also your cheaper type rackets. It's not to say that your heavier rackets are of inferior quality or of less quality or anything like that, but you will find that a lighter racket will tend to be a lot more expensive. Similar to your head heavy type rackets, a heavier racket will suit players which are trying to generate a lot of power when they try and hit a ball. With respect to lighter rackets, you will find that lighter squash rackets are used more by your advanced and intermediate type of players. This is because a lighter racket enables them to maneuver their racket a lot more in the air, which gives them a lot more attacking and aggressive options and also puts them in situations where they need to basically maneuver their racket to get balls out of corners or to play a lot more volleys and aggressive type squash. So you find a lot of lighter rackets used by your top players. You find players getting themselves into different positions and being able to react a lot more quicker to a faster game. So there would be a need for a lighter type racket. Normally you'll find that your lighter type of rackets should be used by people that have already mastered the basic fundamentals of racket preparation, how to swing and how to hit a ball correctly. And if you haven't mastered that, those type of things and you use a lighter type racket, it might obviously stunt your growth in terms of squash. So what will happen is that you might also get away with bad habits because you have not learned, learned the fundamentals correctly. There are obviously exceptions to the norm and this doesn't apply to every type of player. But at the end of the day, this is something that's very short in terms of the consideration that you have to make. You just get heavier type of rackets, light type rackets. It's best to experiment with both and see how consistent you are when it comes to hitting the ball. And that's about it for the weight of the racket. But thanks for watching this episode in the mini series about what you need to consider when choosing your next racket. If you have any comments, suggestions or corrections that need to be made for the people in the community that are interested in picking out a new racket that would fare them best on the squash court, please put a comment down below and let's have a discussion about it. Take care. Cheers.